This is the Elgu Centauri Carbon, and with this printer, Elgu aims to give you everything you need at an affordable price. It's an enclosed core XY printer with a hardened steel nozzle that can print up to 320 degrees Celsius. It checks all the boxes for what you want in a modern 3D printer. It's fast, it has auto bed living, and it can print many types of filaments. On paper, it looks like a great value. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, and later on, I'm going to be doing some test prints and giving you my initial impressions. So let's start by opening it up. Looks like the top of the printer. And we have the instructions here, and I'm gonna take a look at those before I assemble the whole printer. Looks like a box of accessories. We can open that up right now. Just looks like a spool holder, power cable, and there is the screen there, which we'll need to attach. And of course, a little bit of filament as they usually give and it looks like some tools and screws. And it looks like it's just mainly assembled, so I'm just gonna have to pull this out. And it's reasonably heavy for its size, which means it's pretty well built. It feels really solid. That's good when it starts to uh, shake back and forth. It's not gonna vibrate too much. So first, let's just remove the tape here. Now this is an important step. Before you power on your printer, make sure you remove these three bolts. There's one here, here, and then in the back of the bed, there's one as well. Yeah. Indicated by the red tape. Next, it's telling us to install the screen. First, we're gonna have to remove this tape covering the ribbon cable. Make sure not to pull that right off. Now these screens, sometimes they're tricky to install because these cables are short. I often find it's easiest almost to flip it around and come in reverse angle like this and then slot it in and then flip it down like this. And you can tuck the rest of the cable back in and drop it in place. Next up is the spool holder, just twist in place. Next cut the zip ties covering the tool head remove the packaging and finally we can put the top cover on and as you can see that was pretty easy to assemble that's the great thing about these new printers almost anyone can do it so let's just get into the fun part and start printing some cool things Also, during this print, the filament ran out halfway through, and I was easily able to reload it, resume printing, and have no issues such as visible layer shifts. So I've now had this printer up and running for a few days and done a few test prints, so now we can take a look at those and see how they turned out. First up, of course, we have your typical Benchy, and this one came out nice, like most new printers these days, very quick. No noticeable issues at all on this print. I think the quality is very good overall. Next up, here's kind of an interesting print that is included on the files. It is a little waste bin for the, what they call the poop shoe on the back. And it is a mini version of the 3D printer itself. And the quality is actually really good on this. I noticed specifically all the lettering on the sides looks really good. There's not too much ghosting or artifacts going on. And it printed very fast as well. I think it's just a nice little touch for Elgu to include a cool model like this with their printer. It gives it more of a personal touch. And then finally, I printed an articulated dragon. And now there's nothing special about this specific dragon, but the good thing about these articulated uh, models is that they are very good for testing the adhesion of the bed. There's so many separate little parts that if any of the adhesion fails, the whole print fails. So it's a good model to try out. And this one printed quite well. The adhesion was perfect. 
It also released very well at the end. And the details throughout are very nice. No issues with this model at all. Very little stringing. These models can sometimes cause a lot of stringing. And this one, pretty minimal. There is still some to some extent, but really not too bad considering. These models are also good for testing tolerances, you know, making sure that the model moves freely when it lifts off the plate, and this one did. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it is a different filament from the other one. It is a different orange. That's why it looks that way. So far, this printer does seem to be as advertised. It's a low-cost, fully enclosed printer that can give you pretty good quality prints with very little fuss. I can definitely see this printer doing well in this market. Algoo's been around for a while, most people know their name, and I think that people are gonna be willing to give it a shot. Are you interested in getting one of these? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.